For the following exercises, find the x and y intercepts for each equation. So in order to answer the question, we first have to know, right, what an x and a y intercept is. So let's pretend we have a particular uh, linear function and the line is represented by uh, this red line. Remember the horizontal axis is x and the vertical is y. My question is, at what point on this red line does the graph intersect the y-axis? That's probably fairly obvious, right? At this particular point right here. That's where it intersects it. Now, what might not be so obvious is, what are the coordinates of this point? You might say, well, how, how would I know? Right? You just gave me a line on a paper. Well, it's digital paper. So, on a screen? Anyway, uh, we it turns out that we actually do know something about this particular point. Which value do we know? Do we know the x value of that point or the y? Remember, this is the y-intercept. It actually turns out that we know the x-coordinate of that point. So it kind of goes opposite to how you might naturally think. Remember, the y-value here is going to be some negative number, right? It's going, it's below the x-axis. I don't know what it is. But I do know that if this lines up perfectly on the y-axis, the x value here is always going to be zero. So the coordinates of that point will be zero comma who knows. How about now the x-intercept? So where does the graph intersect the x-axis? Well, right there. Again, what are the coordinates of this point? Well, we do know one thing. I don't know what x is because x is going to be something. But I do know what y is. y is going to be definitely zero. All right. So for this particular point, I know then that the x value is who the heck knows and y is zero. So x here will be, for the y-intercept that is, x is equal to zero, y is equal to something. And that looks like a v because it's cut off at the bottom. So y is equal to something. And then for the x-intercept, we have x is equal to something and y is equal to zero. You can definitely memorize that. Now, how can we take this equation and find the x and the y-intercepts? Well, remember, you might be saying, well, where, where's y? Remember, h of x, that stands for a function. This represents a function of x. You can call that whatever you want. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay? I'm going to call it y. y is equal to 3x minus 5. So now notice, as soon as I write it in this form, oh, here's y, here's x. Okay? Now, if I were to plug in, let's say... Uh, if I wanted to find the y-intercept, okay, if I wanted to find now the y-intercept, y-intercept, realize that the y-intercept is always when x is equal to 0. So what you can do is you can take this 0 value and plug it in for x in your equation. When you do that, what's going to happen is you're going to get then one unknown, 3 times 0 is uh, 3 times 0 minus 5. So notice this equation has one unknown. So when you solve this equation for y, essentially what you're solving for is the value of y when x is 0. All right? So let's do it. So 3 times 0 is obviously 0, and then minus 5. So look, fairly simple. This is then the y-intercept right here, y-intercept. Technically, the y-intercept has coordinates, right? Um, but remember, the x value is always zero. So if you had to write, you know, if you had to write in coordinate form, it's going to be zero comma negative five, and that would represent, you know, let's just say that particular point right there. Okay. Same thing now for the x-intercept. Remember, the x-intercept is when the y value is now equal to zero. So simply plug in now zero for y. So it's going to be zero is equal to three x minus five. Add the 5 on over to the left-hand side, so it's going to be then 5 is equal to 3x. Divide both sides then by 3, and, we'll realize, and we realize that the x-intercept now is going to be 5 thirds. Okay, you can get that in decimal form if you need. All right, so now watch how fast we can do this. Okay, rewrite this. It's a function of x. Call it y. Makes it a lot easier. Negative 5x plus 1. Okay, let's talk about the y-intercept first. Remember, the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. Memorize that. So now y equals negative 5 times 0 plus 1. y is equal to then 1. Look at how easy that is. Boom. Done. Let's now do the x-intercept. Remember, the x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. 
So now it's going to be 0 is equal to negative 5x plus 1. I'm going to add the 5x on over to the left-hand side. Okay, when we do that, we get then 5x equals 1. Divide both sides by 5, right? This is all nice and dandy. And x is equal to 1 fifth. That is the x-intercept. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. All right? So thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hopefully this video helped. And if it did, if you wouldn't mind giving us a hand by hitting that subscribe button, like button, we would so very much appreciate it. Or not hit it. Smash it. Mutilate it, right? I don't know what they say now. But anyway, take care.